Hi, I'm Vic, and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things... differently. I like my snacks, and the problem is if I go and buy them, I eat lots and get fat. So, I try not to buy them, I make them myself. I like cheese straws, so I'm going to show you how to make my cheese straws. Just ignore the lettuce tree that's part of the furniture. Start off with some short crust pastry. Now, you can make it your own way, but basically it's half fat to flour. I use a mixture of butter and uh, some lard as my greases, and uh, I use a strong white flour, the same one as I use for making the bread. Into that flour, by the way, I throw a little salt, garlic powder, and uh, well, you can use cayenne pepper. I like using smoked hot paprika, gives it a bit of a zing. And we throw it all into the food processor. So let's weigh out 140 grams of flour. Now, I'll put the recipe up on the geekofarm.com website and uh, link to it in the text below. The fats stay in the fridge until the very last moment. Get some lard and we'll get some butter, salted, unsalted, doesn't really matter. Now the clock is ticking and we have to get our 70 grams of grease into the bowl. Um, so to make up 210 grams. And we go quickly. We can go the spices. And I'll put the flour in first so that the butter and grease don't stick to the bowl. There we are. And food processor. And then give it little pulses. But like that. We don't want to heat the greases up so that they melt into the butter. That's bad. We need three or four of those. Should look like breadcrumbs. I've got funny looking breadcrumbs. All right. That should do it. It's not perfectly blended, that doesn't matter. It gives it a nice crumbly texture. Okay, now you want to put, typically they'd say, put some cold water in there. Well, uh, I've got some colder stuff in the fridge. So for you probably, milk. I need some milk. First, I'm going to put the drained grains in that I've prepared earlier. Our grain mix is the same as the bread, so it's got pumpkin kernels, sunflower seeds, uh, linseed, some oats, uh, kibbled rye, some kibbled wheat. I give it a dash of soy sauce at this point. Good, thick, strongly flavoured stuff. All right. Now, we need to blend it together with the nice cold milk. Uh, we don't blend it to a lump. We blend it to a crumble. As much as I want to blend it, probably a bit more than I'd like to have blended, but there we go. Scoop this out. That stays in the fridge for 20 minutes. While we're waiting for it to cool, I'm going to grate up some cheese, about a couple of cheese. Well, as much as you can get away with, sometimes I've got a pretty big cut. Um, probably about uh, two or three hundred grams here and try not to nibble any. <clears throat> we'll put the oven on. We got a nice fan oven. I'll do that 160 degrees. And this funny piece of wood here uh, keeps our oven door shut because the springs are buggered. And that's nice and chill. We unwrap it, we roll it out to about six millimeters thick and nice and long, put cheese over two thirds of it, 
fold it over in a cunning way, roll it out flat and long again, fold it, and then finally flatten it out again about six mil thick. Then we chop them up into fingers about six to eight mil thick again and put them on this handy pre-greased and floured tray. Whereupon they get put in the top of a nice oven. Um, they'll take anywhere between 16 to 20 minutes or more to cook. And when they're done, they are very firm to the touch and golden brown and delicious. Just like this lot. But for now, that's your lot. Down on Geeko Farm.